What a sight, isn't it? Behind me, I have five of the world's best red light therapy body panels. I'm gonna turn them off so you can actually see me here. These things are incredible. Not only are they putting out a ton of therapeutic red light, these are some of the biggest and best red light therapy panels that you can get today on the market. And I'm gonna compare them all, quantify them all, measure them all to determine which one is the best for you. Not only am I gonna come out with the best overall panel, but I'm also going to find the best for those on a strict budget, but wanting a big panel, the best for international buyers, and also some other special award winners as well. So let's kick things off. I'm gonna introduce these panels. I'm excited to do this, let's go. Okay, so in no particular order, first up we have the Rouge Gear G3 Ultimate. Now this panel, as you can see, is huge. It is 175 centimeters tall and 54 centimeters across. That means you can get a full head to toe, shoulder to shoulder coverage when using this panel. It has 1200 LEDs, the single chip LEDs, but it's a monster. Next, we have the Mito Red Light Mega X. Now this is a smaller panel. It's still what I consider to be a body panel, but it is only coming in at 155 centimeters. It means a guy of my size, five foot 10, 178 centimeters. The top portion of my head is not going to be treated. Of course, if you lift the panel up, then I can treat my head, but not my ankles. Not only is it shorter, but it's also narrower, only 35 centimeters across. And with that smaller size comes less LEDs. There are 600 LEDs in this panel, half the size of the Rouge, but they are dual chips. So you're getting 1200 LED chips in this panel. Now we have the Platinum LED Biomax 900 multi-light quad setup. Now, this isn't an all-in-one body panel. It's actually four wall panels. Each panel, each Biomax 900 panel has 300 LEDs. However, you can mount them all together and control them all from one device and you get a body panel set up. It does have its limitations though and I will get into this later in the video. But the reason why I included this in here is because as you can see, it is a large setup. When looking at the actual LED treatment area, it's 172 centimeters tall by 49 centimeters across. So again, full body treatment is a possibility here. The beautiful thing about this panel is if you cannot afford one of these larger panels, and we're gonna talk prices later on in the video, so hang around for that. What you can do with the Biomax panels is buy one, a few months later buy a second one, and slowly build this array out over time. This is exactly what I've done in the past. So this is why I wanted to keep it in this series. Now with this setup, you're getting a total of 1200 single chip LEDs. Next, we have the Block Blue Light Elite XL. This is really interesting because block blue light in my 2024 comparison series with I don't know, 15 odd panels, their panel came out in first place. So I'm very excited to see how their Elite XL does in this lineup. Not only that, I've just been told that block blue light are coming out with a massive full body panel, which will be out very, very soon. So that's really gonna spice things up. Unfortunately, I don't have the specs to include it in this comparison, but it is a huge announcement and it is gonna be interesting to see how the Elite XL goes, the smaller version. I say small because this is actually the smallest panel in the lineup here. When we're looking at treatment size, it is 150 centimeters tall by 36 centimeters across. However, even though this makes it smaller than the Moto Red Light panel, it has more LEDs crammed into it. There are 720 dual chip LEDs in this panel, a lot more than the Mito Red Light Mega. Okay, now finally we have the Royo Therapy Refined 3600. Now, their wall panel placed third in my 2024 comparison series. Speaking of which, the Biomax 900 actually won that series. They, these were looking at the smaller panels. When it comes to the body panels though, it's a whole different ball game. So the Refine 3600 is 172 centimeters tall by 54 centimeters across. There are 1200 LEDs in this panel and they are dual chip, meaning you're getting 2400 light emitting chips in this beast of a panel. Okay, so here you can see all of this data in a table. Now I've also calculated the treatment area 
in meters squared. As you can see, the Rouge and the Royo panels do have the best treatment area by quite a long shot. Biomax Quad is behind them, and then you have the smaller Mito Red Light and Block Blue Light panels. So what I've done on a scoring front here is I've given the Royo 3600 first place on, for the size round. Uh, this is because of their treatment size, but also the fact that they've got dual chip LED. So you're getting a really nice light coverage. Every single LED has a red or a near infrared wavelength in it. So it's really nice. Second place goes to the Rouge G3 Ultimate. In third place, we've got the Biomax 900. Again, just simply because of the treatment area and the amount of LEDs. And then in fourth equal, we have the Block Blue Light and the Mito Red Light panels. The Mito Red Light panel does have a larger treatment area, but the Block Blue Light panel does have more LEDs. Okay, so that's the first round. Let's look at power. Now, I should just mention, I've reviewed all of these panels individually, so I'm only scratching the surface of some of the features. If you wanna take a really deep dive into any of these panels, maybe if you're seriously considering buying one, I highly recommend not only watching the rest of this video, but going off and watching those reviews as well. I should also mention I'm affiliated with all of these companies. That means that if you purchase one of these panels using my discount links down below, then I'm gonna get a commission, but you will get a discount, so full disclosure. Okay, so when it comes to power, I'm looking at two metrics here. Firstly, I'm looking at the average irradiance. I take a bunch of readings across the face of the panel, and then I average them out. This is done at a distance of six inches. And then I'm also calculating the total therapeutic light output. This is a figure in watts. Okay, so you can see here that the Biomax 900 is by far the most powerful panel in terms of pure irradiance. We then have three panels all in the 70s, the Rouge at 79, the Royo at 72, and the Block Blue Light at 71. And then down the bottom, we have the Mito Red Light Mega at 56. We can then do some calculations. And because the size of the Rouge panel and even the Royo panel is so much larger in terms of treatment area, it means that the total watch you're getting from those panels is actually on par with the Biomax. Now, because the minor red light panel is so underpowered and also smaller, they're way down the bottom there with only 328 total watts. So let's score this round. First place is easy. It's the Biomax 900 quad setup. Second place, the Rouge G3. Third with the Royo. Fourth, Block the Light. And then in last place, we have the minor red light mega. So let's tally up the points and see where they're standing after two rounds. We have three panels on eight points each. Royo, the Rouge, and the Biomax. And then in fourth equal, we have the smaller panels, Block Blue Light and the Mito Red Light Mega. Okay, now for round three, we're looking at wavelengths. You see, when it comes to red light therapy, you want a good amount of power or irradiance, which we just scored. You want a good treatment area, which is size, which we looked at in round one. But then you also need to get the right wavelengths, the right color of light effectively. Now I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail in this particular video because we have written a lot about this topic over at Light Therapy Insiders and also created videos on this channel. Now the good thing is all of these panels are emitting light in wavelengths that we know and the research has shown to be effective for overall health, wellness, recovery, reducing inflammation, energy, all those good things you want from a red light therapy device. So it's not a matter of saying, well, one of these panels is junk because that's not the case. They're all going to work. However, some may work better than others. And some panels use quite unique, credible wavelengths that other panels don't. So let's run through this. The Rouge G3 Ultimate only has two wavelengths, 660 red and 850 nanometer near infrared. Tried and tested wavelengths, they've been around for a long time. Lots of credibility behind them. It's going to work, but it's rather basic compared to what we're gonna see with these other panels. The Mito Red Light Mega emits six different wavelengths, including one quite unique wavelength. The unique wavelength is 590 nanometer amber light. Now we've written the article on amber light and all the benefits. It's really good for skin and beauty benefits. And there's also some research showing it's beneficial for eye health even energy produ production. However, only a small amount of LEDs is allocated towards this 590. So effectively you're getting five wavelengths with a heap of energy. These are 630, 660, 810, 830, and 850 nanometers. 
and then a little bit of that 590. Still, it's a very nice blend of light, especially with that 590 in there. Next, we have the Biomax 900 quad setup. Now, this panel, or these panels, are putting out seven different wavelengths. Out of that seven, there are two unique wavelengths. And I say unique, meaning no other panel is emitting them. The unique wavelengths in this setup are blue light and 1060 nanometer near-infrared light. Now, blue is really good for acne and also skin and beauty benefits, among other benefits. The 1060 nanometer wavelength, it's the first time we've seen it in the space. It's quite an expensive uh, wavelength to produce. That's really good for cognitive function. It's really, it's got some great penetration capabilities. But like with the Mito Red Light panel, not a lot of energy, not a lot of LEDs are actually emitting these unique wavelengths. In fact, the Platinum Biomax range pretty much has most of the energy going to 660 and 850 like we saw in the Ridge. The other wavelengths such as the 630, the 810, the 830, they're not getting a lot of energy. So there's pros and cons to that. Still though, if you want a big broad blend of light, the Biomax is where it's at. Next we have the Block Blue Light Elite and the Royo Refine 3600. Now both of these are putting out five different wavelengths, 630, 660 in the red, and then 810, 830, and 850 nanometers in the near infrared range. The good thing is, that out of these five wavelengths, the energy is evenly dispersed. So you're getting a nice blend of all of these five wavelengths, unlike what we're seeing in the Biomax. So when it comes to scoring these panels, I've awarded the Mito Red Light Mega in first place. They get five points. They have a nice blend of energy going to five wavelengths, but then they do have that unique amber light as well. In second equal place, getting three and a half points each, I have the Royo 3600 and the Block Blue Light Elite. Behind them, I have the Biomax 900, simply because they have a lot of wavelengths. However, majority of the energy is going to the 660 and 850. And then in last place for this round, I have the Rouge G3 Ultimate, because they only have two wavelengths. So nothing special about them. All right, let's add round three to the rankings. Now we can see that Royo is in first place with 11 and a half points. The Biomax quad setup is in second with 10 points. The Rouge G3 Ultimate in third with nine. Uh, Mito Red Light in fourth, seven and a half, and Block Blue Light Elite in fifth place with seven points. Still very, very close, and we've got a few more rounds to go. All right, in round four, I'm looking at extras. This is operation, warranty, ease of use, setup, interesting novel features, and also bad features as well. But before I go through everything, can I just ask a really quick favor? If you enjoy this video, can you scroll down and hit the like button? And if you do wanna see more videos like this, big comparisons, reviews, also interviews on red light therapy, how to use a red light therapy panel, all sorts of cool things, then I highly suggest and only ask that you hit the subscribe button. You see a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of stress has gone into making this video and all the videos I produce on this channel. So I really do appreciate the support. It allows me to keep doing it. And if you guys are enjoying it and you can show that love that you are enjoying it, then it means I can keep doing this for you all. All right, so I don't wanna spend a ton of time going through all the details here. What we'll do is we'll package this up and publish it in a blog article over at lighttherapyinsiders.com. And I'll put a link to that blog down below. So if you wanna geek out on all the data, then be sure to head over there. So the winner of this round was the Block Blue Light Elite XL. Why did they come out on top? Well, they come bundled with the remote. They have a really nice touch screen. It's super easy to set up this panel. I mean, it's literally one plug. Not only that, it's large, yes, but it's small enough that you can move it around yourself. It's quite easy to lift or hang from a hook if you want to do that. Unlike some of these larger panels, which require two or maybe even three people, it has a market leading five year warranty, all the rest with three year warranties. The panel has pulsing and you can customize the pulse rate. Some other panels such as the Mito Red Light panel only have pulsing in 10 Hertz and the Biomax panel has no pulsing at all. It's also whisper quiet coming in at 43 decibels. Now I should mention Royo Refine panel, the large panel on the end there that also came in at 43 decibels. But if you compare that to some of these other panels such as the Biomax and the Mito Red Light Mega, they were like 56 to 59 decibels, quite loud. So Blog Blue Light was super quiet. It was great on the EMF front, no flicker, none of that bad stuff. And it didn't have any negatives. And it came included with a wall mounting bracket 
and some pulleys so you can hang it from your own hooks. If there is one downside with this panel, it's that it doesn't have an app. Some of the other panels have really nice apps to go with it. Block Blue Light don't, they've just got their remote. So overall, they won this round. Behind them was the Royo Refine 3600. Now they do have an app, but they don't have a remote. Their warranty is only three years, but they got extra marks for this round for their smart mode features. Now, if you've seen my reviews of the Royo panels, you'll know exactly what this is. Pretty much, you can go in with one or two clicks and enable, say, bone recovery, muscle recovery, skin repair mode. All the modes are preset into the panel. When you enable that mode, it changes the wavelength, the intensity, the time, even the pulsing rate. All of this is all built in. Not only that, you can go in and save your own custom protocol. You can change the intensities of each wavelength and you can save that into the panel. No other panel does that, so they did get a special point there, hence why they came in at second place for this round. The Mito Red Light panel came in in third place. The Rouge came in at fourth place. They don't have touchscreen, nor do they have pulsing. And in last place for this round was the Biomax 900 quad setup. Now, this panel actually has quite a lot of nice features, like really nice features. However, it lost points in this round not only is it missing the pulsing function, but the big issue with this panel setup is the fact you have this dead space in the middle and through the center. Now sure you get a nice head to toe, shoulder to shoulder setup, but you are getting a lack of light coverage in the middle. I have done a video on this where I've actually tested it at different dis distances. So go and check that out if you want. I should mention though, this is the exact setup that I've been using for many years now. It's not a total, deal breaker but it isn't perfect so the biomax lost points for that hence why they came in last place for this round all right so we can update the scoreboard after four rounds now now as you can see royo is still at first place with 15 and a half points they've really jumped ahead and opened up the gap and second place is block blue light elite uh with 12 points remember they were last place after the previous round so that's a massive jump in third equal we have the biomax and the rouge panels they are both on 11 points and then just behind them is the motor red light mega on 10 and a half points so to be honest second third fourth and fifth is all very very close uh but the rodeo 3600 well out in front here okay so now it's the final round now this round is priced now i need to mention if money is not an issue right you just want the best panel hands down the best panel then you don't even need to watch this round. Just skip back a few seconds, see that table, and make your purchase based on those standings. Because all we're doing here is factoring in price to help find the best overall all-round panel. The prices I'm using for this category are the discounted prices. Remember, I am affiliated with these companies, and the companies have given me discount links and sometimes discount codes to share with you guys. All of those links are down below. So what will happen if you click the link and place the order and use the code, if there's a code as well, you're going to save. It could be 5%, it could be 10%. It sometimes varies, but you're going to save. And then I will also get a small commission. So what I've done for this round is I've actually used the discounted price. Okay. So the price you may see on their website may actually be different to what I'm using here. And that's why. So let's pull up the prices from least expensive to most expensive. So the cheapest panel you can get is the Mito Red Light Mega X at a price of 2,516 US dollars at the time of filming. In second place is the Block Blue Light Elite XL at $2,975. In third place is the Royo 3600 at $3,300. In fourth place is the Biomax 900 Quad at $4,700. And in fifth place was the Rouge G3 Ultimate at $4,913. So it's quite a big difference there in price range. Remember, you are seeing quite a big difference in sizes. The two most inexpensive panels here are also the smallest panels with a lot less LEDs. Now, remember, I'm about to announce the overall winner, but I'm also going to show you the best panel based on different budgets and where you live and a few other criteria. So make sure you hang around for that. And I've also got more to reveal on that other company coming out with their big panel because I think that's really going to spice things up. So uh be sure to hang around okay so the final points are in we can now update the standings so in fifth place with a score of 12 points 
we have the Rouge Care G3 Ultimate. Why did it come in fifth? It's a little bit basic in terms of features and it is quite a high price point. However, if this is the only panel you have access to, then hey, it's still a very good panel. Now in fourth place with a score of 13 points was the Platinum LED Biomax 900 Multi-Light System. Now remember, this has been my personal setup for many years. It works great. However, it only placed fourth. What's going on here? Well, the biggest downside is the cross through the middle. Also, the price point. It is quite expensive, especially compared to the other panels. But there is a big advantage with this particular setup. If you cannot afford three or $4,000 in one hit, then you can slowly work away on building this array by one panel, by another one, and over time, you'll end up with this. Okay, so now in third place with a score of 15.5 was the Mitre Red Light Mega X. Now this is a really nice panel. I think wavelength wise, it's doing a great job. You've got lots of power going to the five key wavelengths and then a little bit of that amber, a nice new touch screen, well priced, which is a great big plus. However, the downside is the size. Sure, it's a smaller panel, but it's also lacking in LEDs when compared to the other small panel we have in this lineup. Still, it will tick a lot of boxes, especially with that attractive price point. Okay, so now there are two, the Block Blue Light Elite XL and the Royo Therapy Refine 3600. Now, both of these companies placed second and third in my 2024 wall panel comparison. So they're now at the top when it comes to the body panel. So in second place with a score of 16 points is the Block Blue Light Elite XL. Now, similar to the Mito Red Light panel, very good features, okay? Also a really good price point. However, the downside here and the reason why it didn't come out number one is simply because of its size. The problem with these panels, if you just wanna buy one panel and treat the whole body, the issue with this and the white or red light panel is you're not getting total coverage. You see me standing in front of the panel, top of my head isn't exposed, that's okay. I could lift it up and miss out on the ankles if I want to. The bigger problem for me is my arms and shoulders are not covered. If I'm spending three, $4,000, I personally want something that's gonna treat the whole body. And that's where the Royo Refined 3600 comes in because this thing treats everything. As I stand in front of it, I'm getting full coverage from my ankles right up to my head. Both shoulders and arms are being covered as well as my torso, legs, everything. It's hitting all of the boxes. Not only that, it is quite an amazing panel. I mean, just look at it. You're getting red LED chips in every single LED lens. You are getting five different wavelengths. This thing is massive and it's also whisper quiet. It also has inbuilt pulsing and dimming and those smart modes, plus the ability to save your own preset protocols in here. There's a bunch of stand options and to top it all off, it comes in at a really good price point. So, Royo, congratulations. Your panel, the Refine 3600, is the Red Light Therapy Body Panel of the Year for 2024. Well done, but remember, that's not all. I've got more to share, more awards to give out, and more news, which I'll share at the very end of this video. So now I want to do a special award for the best panel for international buyers. So on screen, what I've done is put the shipping rate for these panels to get it shipped to an address in Australia. You can see the Royo panel is free. Block Blue Light is going to cost $15. Mito Red Light is going to cost $300, excluding taxes. Biomax, $1,400, including taxes and the Rouge does not ship. So to be honest, if you live outside of America, let's say the UK or Australia, you really have two choices, the Royo Therapy panel or the Block Blue Light Elite panel. And because the Royo Therapy panel just came out number one and they have free shipping, they also have warehouses in the USA, France, UK, New Zealand, and Australia. Then for international buyers looking for the best body panel, then again, the Royo Therapy is the one to go for. Okay, so let's say you're in a fortunate position where money is not an issue. You just want the best panel. What I've done now is separated it into the best 
large pedal and the best small pedal. You see, some people are actually quite attracted to these smaller pedals. They're a lot easier to move around, they're a lot lighter, and they're a lot smaller. So if you don't have the space, or you don't have the hooks, or whatever it may be, some people are attracted to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the scores after four rounds, which didn't factor in price. And we're gonna look for the best large panel and the best small panel. Okay, so on screen, you can see the scoreboard after four rounds. And to be honest, it's really quite simple. The best large one without factoring in price is the Royo 3600. They're in first place. So even before they factored in price, it was still the best panel. And the best small panel is second place, Block Blue Light Elite XL. So there we go. If price isn't an issue, then I'd choose out of these two, depending on what size you want. Okay, what happens if you are on a budget? Let's say you have a top amount of $3,000. Well, here you can see the panels from least expensive to most expensive. The Biomax and the Roja are out. They're well over $4,000. I'm going to leave the Royo in for a second. If we add the panels points after four rounds to this table, we'll see that the Mitre Red Light panel is the most attractive purely from a price point. However, for a couple hundred dollars more, you can get the Block Blue Light panel. And if you do want to stretch the budget a little bit, then I highly do suggest considering the Royo Therapy Refine. Uh, it is a lot larger panel compared to the other two for only a small jump in price. Now, finally, what about value? Let's say you want to get the best bang for your buck. What I've done is calculated the amount of money it costs to get one watt of therapeutic red light. Now, to pull this data up, I headed over to Light Therapy Insiders. I click on the shopping tool. I then sorted all the data just to show the body panels and then ranked it from value. You can do this yourself. There's a ton of uh, panels over there. It's a really handy tool. Links are all down below. Okay, so the best valued panel was the Royo Therapy Refine 3600 at $5 a watt. In second place was the Biomax Quad at $6.30 and then the Ultimate was in third place. So what does this all mean? Well, to be honest, the Royo Therapy Refine 3600 is an exceptional panel, uh, well-rounded features, great price, great company, all those good things. I mean, you can see why it keeps coming out number one. Very, very cool. However, however, there is a big however here. Before you rush out and, and order one of these panels, remember, uh, I have reviewed all of these panels independently, so go check them out because in those reviews, I go through a lot more pros and cons and a lot more details that I cannot do in this video. But I do need to mention, there is a, a very late announcement. I was literally on the phone with the founder of this company 24 hours ago, uh, and I mentioned, hey, I'm filming this today, just as a bit of a heads up, and he was like, oh, can you delay it? And I said, no, I, I, I can't. I, it's, I've only got use of the studio for one more week. I need to film them, these panels need to go back. And he said, oh, bummer, because we're coming out with a 1200 LED full-size body panel. Now, who was this? It was the founder, CEO of Block Blue Light. So at the moment, they have their 720 LED Elite XL panel, right? The small body panel. But soon, I don't know when exactly, but maybe by the time this video is going out, they're going to have a panel in this size, 1200 LEDs, the same as the Royo Therapy Refine. Now, what would that do to the overall standings? How would that perform? Because remember, the Block Blue Light panel is really, really good. I don't know what the price point's going to be. I, I don't know if they're going to have any new special features or changes with wavelength. I know nothing. All I know is they're working on it. And he said, when there's one ready, they're going to ship it to me. So just, uh, just when you thought we'd found the perfect panel for you, um, keep that in mind. Now, remember, I will do a review on that panel as soon as it's out. I will post details in our Facebook group as soon as I have any details to share. I'll also share an announcement in our Light Therapy Insiders newsletter. So yeah, if you want to know more about it, jump on all those mailing lists, hit the subscribe button down below, and who knows what the outcome would be. However, the cool thing is we know that, well, to be honest, all of these panels are going to work. So if you don't want to wait around for the announcement of that new panel, just go out and buy the one that uh, you like the best start enjoying the benefits of red light therapy and uh, you won't regret it all right i'll see you in the next video remember there's lots of reviews i've done up here and um see you soon